click more pro so when you're in the pro mode you will have full manual control of shutter speed I'm gonna set my shutter speed to 30 seconds and set my ISO to 1600 and I will also click manual focus and just try to make your best uh, I found that for the main lens 0 0.8 is a good focus point if it's not enough for you, you just zoom in a little bit and make sure that your stars are sharp and in focus after this part you can just uh, press this timer button for two seconds. We don't want any shake. Even single tiny vibration will make your image blurry. So just make sure that it's in stable and you're aiming towards Milky Way. And press the start button. It will count down. And right now it's long exposing for 30 seconds and getting all the light into our sensor. Let's see what we get here. Here we go. I'm gonna try the same thing with the ultra wide angle. Again, uh, I will put my ISO to 1600, shutter speed to 30 seconds. And this time, uh, the wide angle doesn't have a focusing, so it will focus everything basically. And you set your timer there to 30 seconds. Down. So this will give us more wider look. Let's see. Yeah. You can see I am in the Los Angeles Astronomical Society event right now. You can see people and you can see the Milky Way too in the wider angle. Look at this shot. I'm gonna use this wide angle and aim a little more higher to get a full shot of Milky Way this time. Let's see. Let's see. That's it. Uh, I realized that the main camera, which is the ultra wide, is 13 millimeter in S22 uh, Galaxy phones. Uh, the main camera is huge sensor and 1.8 aperture. I'm gonna use not 30 but 20 seconds to have sharper stars I realize 30 seconds exposuring it captures the Milky Way clouds really well but when you zoom in you can see a little star trail so that's why I set the shutter speed not 30 seconds 20 seconds Here we go, look at this, and the stars are sharp, and this is the raw image, look at this detail. The pictures, 
are here. I took a lot of them just to make sure um, I'm choosing the best. As you can see, there are uh, when you open the raw uh, imaging from your camera settings, it will give you a one raw image with the uh, aperture sign on top and the JPEG. So this is how the raw image looks like. This noise is normal, uh, so because this is an actual raw file, what what your sensor gets no post processing at all and it gives you more detail yes noisy but more detail uh, Samsung expert raw is actually not giving you the raw image it is processing uh, some type of it's kind of like a post processing to reduce the noise and add some sharpening so it won't give you this much detail but low noise so I always that's why I always go with the regular stock cameras uh, raw image so it will be easy for me to deal with in the post so it this one and the JPEG as you can see the JPEG has already have the um, the noise reduction and some AI uh, color grading it and I don't like how that thing made things mushy. Expert RAW does the same thing. You see the RAW image, the details, and JPEG. So I will go with RAW image. Um, I took a lot of pictures. As you can see, uh, you can actually capture the ground and Milky Way at the same time too. This is the JPEG version of the same RAW file. Another shot, I really like the trees. It's really noisy, but we will take care of it later, right now. Okay, let's go and choose the best. Um, um, Adobe Lightroom with actual size. 